this video is to show you how to use the functions of the GeoBoard app in the Math Learning Center. I think it's a really powerful app and let's just get started. As with all the Math Learning Center um, apps, down along the bottom is the toolbar and it has a lot of um, similarities to the other toolbars. Okay, when it first opens up, you'll see the GeoBoard that looks like this, kind of a traditional um, 4x4 GeoBoard. Uh, you also have the option to have a circular geo board, and you have the option to have an extended geo board. I'm going to use the extended geo board for today's lesson. Um, you, if you click here, it shows uh, connections between the pins of the geo bar. You can toggle that on and off. And if you click here, it'll show uh, numbers along the edges, which I think is also useful for kids. All right, so the most basic way to use this is to take one of the rubber bands you have to click and hold and drag it up to the top here and it'll uh, grip onto the two pins. If I want to extend it out further then I'll extend it out here. Uh, I could even change it and extend it further, grab it here and I can ex extend it to make a rectangular array there. Okay, I could also do any number of different shapes like this or this, a variety of different ways. So basically you can move pin to pin. Another good feature down here is uh, you can duplicate that item if you choose. You can also uh, color in the item. So this right here, this, um, this little uh, button will color in the item, which I think is useful and I'll show you how. And as with the other apps, we also have a way to annotate uh, what I'm going to call the equation builder. So I'm going to say that this is equal to 1. Now you can also use the uh, pen device here and when you click on the pen device you have the option to write freehand. Um, this can be a little awkward depending on how good you are with your uh, mouse. So I don't think that's particularly useful, but hey, other people might like it. At any time, if you want to, uh, by the way, when you click this off, the writing that you've done with it goes away, but when you click it back on, it comes back. So you can make it go away or come back. So for now, I'm going to fill in the, uh, the uh, bar that I have created. I'm going to say that that's equal to one whole. And then I'm going to further say I'm going to create another bar right below it. And in my other bar, I'm going to say, okay, uh, using my equation editor, I'll say that this is equal to uh, 1 slash 3. And whoops, didn't finish it. It's 3. And, okay, so once I've done that, by the way, um, you now have the option to take off the coloring or add the coloring to all of them simultaneously. Or, if you choose, you can highlight one, and this button right here will only fill in the one you've highlighted, the one shape that you've highlighted. So I could highlight this one up here, color it in, or uncolor it in. And then highlight this one and color it in or not color it in. I can also do all of them by clicking here on and off. All right. So that's equal to one third. I could choose another color of rubber band. By the way, for those of you who are accustomed to using rubber bands on real geo boards, you'll love these rubber bands because they never break and they don't get shot across the room. Okay, so what value is this um, shape? Um, one of the good advantages here is if I um, highlight this one, color it in, and then take my purple up here and now create this shape. The question is, all right, if I color that one in, what value is that? So the way to see that for students, I think, is to do something like this. Highlight, click, click, one more, well actually two more, highlight like this, 
By the way, when you're dragging, you, it takes a little getting used to. It's not super hard, but you have to grab the rubber band, click and hold. All right, and it's just, you know, after the first time or two that you do it, it becomes second nature. And that'll be the same for the kids. All right, so how do we label the values there? Uh, first of all, there are four pieces. Um, I hope people can see that they're equal sized, although they are flipped or they're inverted. So that might be a challenge for some students to see. But the way that I would do it if I were, um, if I were doing a demonstration for students is I would put my equation editor right there and say that equals to um, one fourth. And let's see, that's also one fourth. By the way, I'm hitting the duplicate down here to make it equal to one fourth and one fourth. So each of those is equal to one fourth. If you want, you can highlight them individually. Yeah, let's see, I don't want to highlight the, uh, and color them in. And then you can say each of those is equal to one-fourth. All right, the good feature that you have here is you have the ability to put one color over the other. You have the ability to annotate using the equation editor. You even have the ability to annotate using the pen function. I don't like the pen function too well because I'm not really good with that. I don't know who he is, but some people might be. So down here with my equation editor, I'll just duplicate that. And I'll say that's equal to one fourth. All right, yay. So if that's one fourth, which we've already established because there's four equal size pieces that make up the whole, and this is one third because there's three equal size pieces that make up the whole, then the question that I might have is, well, okay, what value is this? This value right here should be the easiest of them, I think, because um, kids can just count the squares. There are six equal size squares that make up that whole. And so I'll label this as equal to uh, one sixth. All right. By the way, as we're going, one of the most important parts of this features of this uh, tool is the annotation, the equation editor. Uh, it's important that kids label the values. All right. My last piece that I'm going to... Um, color in now is this piece and try to figure out what will this value be all right so I would say this value is equal to um, 1 12th and that's because 12 equal size pieces make up the whole if you wanted to you could color them in one by one and see how that is so that's 1 12th now, when we go back to the one-third and the one-fourth, I think it might be useful to take this one-twelfth and say, oh, look at this. What can I do with this? That one right there. Let's see. It fits there. And also I can create another one that goes right here. Whoops. Stretch that over. Oh, I made a mistake. You have to grab the rubber band. There you go. And then I'll duplicate that one and I'll stretch it over there and you see it sticks right in there. So one third, now using my equation editor, is actually equal to, um, I think, four twelfths. Yay. So one-third is four-twelfths. Whoop, I didn't uh, get my... One-third is equal to four-twelfths. Using an exact, you know, using a very similar process, I could take these and duplicate them. And put one here. And uh, see that one should click in. And by the way, oh, you know, I forgot to even mention this. Let me get back to it in a moment. Uh, let me duplicate that one. Bring it down, click it in. 
and duplicate that one again. Bring it down and, whoops, get it, bring it down, click it in. Okay. And hopefully this one shows up. There you go. Okay, so one fourth, now using the equation editor, is actually equal to is equal to um, three twelfths. And so you can see, as we've done in the past, I'll put in the equation editor again. Uh, we could now say that uh, one third plus one fourth equals um, four twelfths. plus three twelfths. And that's equal to seven twelfths. Okay, so here we've done the same lesson that we've done previously several times using a geoboard. Um, so the geoboard has a lot of good features. By the way, at any time you can turn off the grid, and you can turn off the numbers, turn the grid back on and the numbers back on and off. Um, you can choose to color them all in or color none of them in. You can color in uh, just selected pieces. If I take this piece right here and I'm going to duplicate it, then I could, uh, let's see, rotate it and convince myself that it's the same size as that piece right there. So that's a really good feature. You can, uh, whoops, I just, yeah, made a mistake doing that. Sorry. All right. That flips it horizontal or vertically, and this flips it horizontally. So you have a flipping tool as well. Let me pull that over to the side here. So you can rotate it, or if you don't want to rotate it, you can uh, flip it horizontally or flip it vertically. Or flip it horizontally this way, flip it vertically that way. All right, so a lot of good tools here. Let me trash that. Uh, and I feel like the best way to use this is to assign it on Flipgrid or um, or Seesaw and have the kids not only annotate it using the equation editor, but then I would like them to say, this is equal to one whole. This is equal to one-third because three equal size pieces make a whole, but it's also equal to four-twelfths because there's twelve equals pieces here that make a whole, and there's four of them in that one-third. So one-third is an equivalent fraction to four-twelfths. There's a lot of talking they can do here. When you um, ask them to turn in their flip grid or their seesaw assignment, you can listen to what they say, and you can give them feedback. Like... They might do a really good job of setting all this up with the equation editor, but then they might not say the sentences you want them to say. So your annotation to them, feedback, would be, that's really good the way you set this up. Now what you should say here, to make it even better, is this is equal to one-third because three equal size pieces make a whole, and this is equal to one-twelfth because twelve equal size pieces make a whole, and one-third is also equal to four-twelfths because there's four of those twelfths inside of the one-third. All right, I said a lot. I think this is a really powerful app, and I think that you could use it a lot. I'm going to now clear everything. It gives you the chance to say, no, I don't want to clear everything. But once you clear it, it's gone. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.